Well, we are certainly no strangers to big transportation projects around the D.C. region. Another one is now being considered that would have a major impact on the Virginia side of the Beltway. A series of meetings will be held this week to talk about adding express lanes from Springfield all the way across the Wilson Bridge. News 4 transportation reporter Adam Tuss has all the details. As is often the case when you talk about express lanes and paying to get around traffic, there are two directions of thought. Well, I think it's a good concept. I think it's a bad idea. But VDOT now studying whether or not to add more express lanes to the Virginia side of the Beltway, represented here by the blue dotted line between Springfield through Alexandria and all the way to Maryland. So from the Springfield interchange where the 495 express lanes currently end, um, across the Woodrow Wilson Bridge to the Maryland 210 interchange. Well, yeah, obviously this would be a huge change for that section of the Beltway in Northern Virginia and here across the Wilson Bridge. And you know, if you talk to any driver who has to go back and forth across the Wilson Bridge, they'll tell you it is no picnic. And the builders of this bridge actually left some space up there to put these kind of lanes across. So that could be a massive change. Jim Calada is from New York, driving through our area. The owner was just like, what's going on here with all the traffic? So would he pay to get a quicker trip and use the lanes, which promise a speedy commute even during rush hours? I would have years ago when I worked. Now I'm retired. I'm not in a hurry. Commuter Michael Keyes with a different perspective. Everything is turning to be a pay to play type of situation. I think we can do better than that. Now this study is also looking at the possibility of extending Metro across the Wilson Bridge to the National Harbor area, which transportation leaders say the bridge could handle. A decision on whether or not to build the lanes is expected next year. No exact date for when construction would start and no firm price tag either. But a number of public meetings on this study will happen this week in person and virtually. Along the Beltway, Adam Tuss, News 4. We posted the locations of those meetings this week on our website, NBCWashington.com.